Captain Bayes and her crew stayed longer on Lyra's beach to enjoy her hospitality and the beautiful nature of the island. After several days, a ship appeared on the horizon with a golden spiral on its flag. Ha ha! Wherever we go, Captain Wen will either be there or appear soon after. That's not random, nor a coincidence anymore. That's fate. You may be right, but he also might have found us by the help of Ernesto. Haven't seen the bird for three days. You are right, Captain Bayes sent Ernesto with a letter to Claire and Maccabi. Maybe Captain Wen got our position that way. I'm curious whether he could find the buried treasure and even more excited on what it actually contained. I guess you can ask him in an hour or so. It will take him some time to reach the shore. Let's inform our captain that we might have an extra guest at our barbecue later on. Good idea. Oh, I can't tell you how much I long for a tasty roast. In the meantime, Captain Bass and Lyra prepared a large fireplace for the barbecue mentioned. What a lovely idea to have the barbecue outside. It will refresh the mood of my crew. Today, I have an important decision to announce. Well, this clearing is perfect. And with a large fire, you wouldn't get cold within a radius of 3 meters. I always wondered how many people could be warmed by such a fire. Ah, you're looking for the circumference. Have you ever heard of the rates of pi? No, but I guess you can answer my question with it. Yes, indeed. It's the proportion of the diameter of a circle to its circumference. So it's a number, but this number is hard to evaluate. Though, there's a simple trick how to find it randomly. That sounds interesting. How does it work? You just need a stick of a certain length L and some straight parallel lines with the distance D. Then, throw the stick n times repeatedly in the area of the lines and count how many times T the stick touches a line. Then the number pi is approximately given by 2 times the ratio of n divided by T times the ratio of the stick length and the line distance. Wow, I think we should try that. I'm eager to see how long it takes us to get the first four digits right. Captain, a ship is coming. Captain Wen will arrive in some hours. Oh, perfect. Thank you, Pascal. We should welcome him at the beach to invite him to the barbecue. And in the meantime, we shall determine the value of pi as precisely as possible. The crew enjoyed deriving the value of pi by throwing the stick so much that they didn't pay much attention to the guests with whom Captain Venn set foot on the island. Ah, oh, Captain, just see who I brought with me. I guess it's more than you expected. Ernesto, thank you. Good to have you back. Ah, Claire and Maccabe, how lovely to have you both here. What makes you travel the sea? Your last letter on a possible solution to our boundary issue was also noticed by Captain Venn. He was so eager to see you that he agreed to take us as his passengers in return for telling him your whereabouts. We thought it would be a good chance to thank you for your help and to see you and your crew again. Yes, it's so wonderful to meet you again. I have to tell you, your comment on the pattern of first digits of accounting lists inspired me. I suspect fraud in the pricing of my pots in Oversea. Maybe you can help me follow up my suspicion. So nice of you to think of me. Sure, Claire. Let's have a look later. So, this is Lyra, our host. Welcome to my beach. We have a barbecue soon and you're all invited. Base. Ah, you already saw my passengers. Base. I need to talk to you. The treasure! I found it! Ah, the treasure! The, the treasure! treasure. You really the treasure! Made it. I can't the believe treasure. it! The treasure! The treasure! Where is the treasure? What is it? The treasure! My dear Captain Van, congratulations on finding your treasure. So here I am. What is your desire? Bernoulli, it's nothing material. 
Actually, it was a manuscript by a certain John Skilling. He wrote the following. Dear brave finder of the treasure, you solved the quest honorably and your reward shall be the technique of nested sampling. It will empower you to solve multidimensional integrals with more ease. Especially when it comes to model selection, it will enable you to explore the vast parameter spaces of marginalized likelihood functions. May your prior be flat. And then comes some formula. Base, um, I need your help to figure out how this works. Can you help me, please? Oh, Captain Venn, sure. Let's have a look at the formulas together. Computing integrals is a strenuous task, especially in multi-dimensions. So let's go to the lighting over there, where we will have the barbecue. The fireside is almost prepared. Can you help Captain Bates and her crew to derive the value of pi and to get familiar with that new Bayesian simulation technique? How many times do you have to throw a stick on a grid of lines, on average to determine the first four ditches of pi with a tolerance of about 10%? Can you imagine a technique using sand grains to approximate pi? In which cases is nested sampling a real treasure? Watch the next video to gain more insight into Bayesian simulation techniques and learn about Monte Carlo methods and the idea of the back integrals. The atmosphere at this barbecue was wonderful. Bernoulli was so jolly about the juicy roast that he forgot all hardship he had experienced in the past time. The hour was late when Captain Bayes had an announcement to make. My dear crew, my fellow friends, we have experienced a lot of random adventures together and I am so glad that you joined me on this journey. I hope we all got richer in experience and confident in dealing with uncertainty. I think the time is now to end this expedition and to sail back. My brother Thomas has sent me a letter and I wish to see him again. And who knows what random adventures await us next. A toast to you, my fellow friends. <laughs>